Hello there, patriots, viewers, friends, and family. This is a follow-up, some addition that we're talking about the video that we did earlier for some differences or some upgrades. These are things that I did not add to the bag, um, only because I wanted you to see what other options that you have available to us. One of the things that we talked about was defense. We use the small gel spray. I also have a larger one that is available that I think is a good idea. If you're in bear country, you do need to have some way to, uh, to have multiple episodes of defense, you may want to do this. And I'm gonna tell you, it's pretty intimidating whenever you bring out a big can. Um, remember that these are used for bears. We don't use these for people, okay? But if you have bears, this is the best thing to use is to have something to keep the bears away. We also have the whistle, those things. We have not taken the time to cover all of the dangers that we're gonna have in the wilderness area, but this is something that I think that is important. So this is an upgrade that you may choose as well. Another thing is as we go along, we talk about our water. And I, and I have a couple things here that I kind of wanted to show you. Remember that we talked about the metal canteen that we could use to boil water in. And usually when you say canteen, everybody thinks about the old plastic canteens. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I want to give you an idea is we're always trying to keep our kit as light as we possibly can. This is typical. This is what the military has used forever. It contains a cover here. It has a canteen and a metal container. We can absolutely use this as well because again, we're gonna use this to carry and transport our water. We know that it's a quart, so it makes it a lot easier to use the pills so that we know that we need exactly the right number of pills for the exact amount of water. I think that's really important. And we still have a metal container that we can boil. However, is the case so necessary? I'm gonna say no because we have a backpack. We have a way to carry this thing. These are great, but it's weight. And you know what? Ounces add up to pounds and pounds add up to pain. So I always suggest that whenever we go through the things that you have, remember all of the things that I showed you earlier were still in packaging. The entire kit weighed 20 pounds with packaging. So by removing the packaging, you're probably gonna lose approximately a third of that weight. The reason I keep preaching weight is because you want to try to find that spot that's about one third of your physical body weight. So keep these kits as light as you possibly can. So we're gonna say yes to the canteen, yes to the canteen cup that we can put in a campfire and we're going to say no to the cover. We also have these hydration bags. This is just an example of what the military used. The reason I bring these up is some guys really love these things a lot. I think that if you're going to use these, it's like every other tool that you have, you need to understand the pros and the cons. You need to decide if you're going to keep your bladder for only clean water or you're going to use your bladder for only dirty water. What you can't do is you can't mix the two. So that means you either need to purify, filter, the water before it goes into the bladder and never put dirty water in it or you want to take this thing and fill it up with the dirty water and then filter it through the line. It's really personal preference. Make sure you keep them clean. Make sure that you use them and do not put any kind of sugary drinks in them. It destroys the bags. It's extremely uh, difficult to keep them hygienic, safe, sanitary if you start putting junk in your water bladder. So don't do that. We didn't talk as much about shelter. We didn't have a whole lot as far as shelter goes in the backpack. I would have loved to have brought out a, maybe a military poncho uh, something like that, but I just didn't have anything available. What I did choose to pick up was a tarp. Now, this tarp is a, a military tarp. It's got the bungees on it and everything else. It's just like a poncho. It's just a little bit bigger. doesn't have a place, you know, you can't wear it like you can a poncho. But I think it's important for your shelter. You always have something that you can sleep under, something that you can sleep on, and something that you can sleep in. So when we talk about sleeping under something, I want you to be able to sleep under something that will protect you from the wind, uh, from the rain, from the snow, and from the sun. When we talk about something to sleep on, I'm talking about whether that's a, a debris pile made up of leaves and dried grasses, those kinds of things, or a pad, which is not always an easy thing to put in a kit like this. But what you can do is you can easily take your tarp and you can put your brows down and then take a tarp and put over the top of that. So what you have is you have a bed now that insulates you from the ground. I also showed in the earlier, we talked about a hammock, which is mostly a net. Really great during the summertime, not so great in the wintertime, and not so great when it's bug season. So if you were going to upgrade that and you don't want to go with a tent necessarily, and you like to use a hammock, 
hammock, here's an option here. I prefer hammocks because it keeps me up off the ground. This particular one I like because it has a bug screen on it and it protects me from the no sims. This particular one is canvas is kind of heavy. However, it's made in such a way that I can lay it on the ground and it takes a little work, but you can stake out the four corners and you can pitch the top just like a small bivy. And I think that's a, important that you have multiple ways to do things. Again, for shelter or protection, remember it's all about your clothes. Um, if you're going to go anywhere, make sure that you have a set of clothes available to you that are already clean that will protect you from the environment that you may find yourself in. Just remember to always go in layers. It's easy to take stuff off, but it's difficult to put stuff back on if you've got a bunch of gear on. Another thing that we didn't talk about a whole lot as far as communication, I, I have a little radio here. The reason for this is, is that because we want to be able to communicate, we want to be able to signal with people that are trying to reach us and also to stay in communication with others in our group or people that may be looking for us. Um, work out a protocol so that if you're going to go somewhere and you have a radio, that at a certain time every day you're going to turn that radio and you're going to listen or you're going to transmit so that the people that are around you have a way to pinpoint your location. At least they're hearing from you. Remember what I said, use modern technology to do what you need to do. The fundamentals are always the same. It's just how you do it. Are we using smoke signals? Are we using fires or are we using radios or are we using cell phones do whatever you need to do to do that and that pretty much is a wrap up on the things that i think could go into a bug out bag we'll go through each one of these categories at a later date if you guys are interested and i'll expound on them we'll go into more detail you guys just let us know in your comments what you'd like for us to do next